Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Patrick, and in this video, I want to talk about, once again, another very important topic, okay? Actually, at this point, maybe I should stop saying that. If it's not worthwhile, then I'm not going to even think about recording. It has to be something that's, that's beneficial on some level, okay? So, in this video, I'm going to talk about conspiracy theories, what some people will call pseudo science and pseudo talk. Okay? Now, what I want us to understand, guys, is the fact that it's nothing wrong with having an open mind. Okay? It's nothing wrong with taking into consideration any and everything. Okay? But what we have to do is you have to make sure. You don't get carried away with information, okay, or anything that cannot be confirmed, okay? Excuse me, guys. I just finished eating, so. But um, we don't want to get carried away with things that we can't confirm, okay? So we always want to be inquisitive. We always want to be intelligent. We want to be as intelligent as we can be, as smart as we can be. And in order to do that, you have to consider information, okay? But you also have to filter through, okay, information and confirm things, okay, before you just, you know, solidify things, all right? So with that said, okay, guys, like me personally, ever since I was younger, I would consider myself to be a very intelligent young man, a very inquisitive young man. So, therefore, I was never satisfied with very limited information, okay? And even if information appeared to be new at a particular point in time, once I grasped that information, I wanted to move on and see what more I can learn, okay? <clears throat> So with that said, you know, kudos to people who are seeking knowledge, seeking understanding, wisdom, okay, information, okay, trying to soak up your experience, okay, and life and trying to learn as much as you can. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But when it does become a bit of an imbalance is when we are um, confused confirming things that we actually haven't confirmed, okay? When we are um, supporting things, okay, that we haven't confirmed, you know, and, uh, and things of that nature. So what I want to say is, for example, like when I was younger, I've looked into all types of things. I've looked into extraterrestrials, right? I've looked into all different um, types of history theories, okay? I've looked into uh, different uh, diets and health regimens. Like, and so the point is, you're going to always have evidence to support whatever it is that you're looking into that's going to support it one way or another, okay? The th so, what has, so what it boils down to is which, what is actually what can be confirmed as fact and what can we say is just something that that's out there that we can't necessarily confirm yet so therefore we can't just you know uh tie ourselves to it okay in my opinion okay that wouldn't be the most responsible way of dealing with things okay so with that said me man it was a time when i thought um when i was younger it was a time i thought santa claus was real you see what i mean um i to this day i haven't confirmed that a man actually comes down your chimney at on December 25th of each year, right? And gives you presents, okay? I haven't confirmed that. But at, the, at a certain point, at a particular point in time, I believe that, okay? Um, and, and so I, I guess you guys get my point and so on and so on. So it's not to say that certain things aren't true, but we have to, what, we, what it boils down to is information is information, guys. But you you. Don't want to fully back something that you can't wholeheartedly confirm, okay? All right, guys. Um, so, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. 
So I, you know, I believe in Santa Claus. I believed in ghosts. I believed in aliens. I believed in all these types of things. And I'm not saying whether or not I currently still believe in them, but none of these things I can definitively confirm to you that they do exist. Okay, like I can't call upon an alien right now, and they're going to show their face in order to confirm to you that they exist. I can't call upon a ghost right now. And they're going to necessarily jump on the screen and confirm to you that they exist. So these things are better not being so committed to. Oh, you you, you understand what I'm saying? All right. But it's okay to, you know, we watch, we watch sci-fi movies. We watch different types of movies. Just because you entertain certain things don't necessarily mean that um, you can be associated with it. All right. Hopefully this was a helpful video, guys. Peace.